Hi guys! For today's video, we are going to talk about the speed of sound traveling through a medium. When I say sound, it's like a traveler. It travels through different media and one of these media is the air. But before we proceed to the computation of the speed of sound, we have to know the two basic rules that we have to observe while computing for the speed or velocity of sound while traveling through air. The first rule is that the speed of sound traveling through air at 0 degrees Celsius is 331 meters per second. So that is constant. If the temperature of your medium, which is the air, is 0 degrees Celsius, then your speed of sound is 331 meters per second. Now for our second rule, you have to know that in every 1 degree Celsius added to the temperature of your medium, which is the air, you have to add 0 0.6 meters per second to the speed of sound. Same thing, if you have 2 degrees Celsius, then you have to add 1.2 meters per second, and so on. With those two basic rules, we will now realize that the two important variables for this lesson are the speed of sound, which is represented by Vs, and the temperature, which is represented by capital letter T. And we can now derive the basic solution for this lesson. That will be speed of sound or Vs is equal to 331 meters per second. Why 331 meters per second? Basically, it is your base velocity. It's the velocity of your sound if the temperature of the air is 0 degrees Celsius. Plus, the temperature, well of course we have to include the temperature because again it affects the speed or velocity of sound times 0 0.6 meters per second. Why 0 0.6 meters per second? Basically, this is what you will add to the speed of sound as the temperature increases by 1 degree Celsius. For our first problem, what is the speed or velocity of a sound traveling through air with a temperature of 65 degrees Celsius? First, of course, you have to analyze the problem and you have to list down the given values. We have here 65 degrees Celsius. Basically, that's your given value, the only given value. 65 degrees Celsius. And this is your temperature. And it says here, what's the speed or velocity of a sound? So basically, you're looking for your Vs. Now, for you to solve the speed of sound for this problem, you have to use the basic formula for the speed of sound that will be Vs is equal to 331 meters per second plus temperature times 0 0.6 meters per second. So that is 331 meters per second plus your temperature, that's 65 degrees Celsius times 0 0.6 meters per second. And that will be 331 meters per second plus 65 degrees Celsius times 0 0.6 meters per second. That will give you 39 meters per second. You have to cancel this out because this unit is no longer needed you have to um, have meters per second because we're looking for the speed of sound here so that will be 331 meters per second plus 39 meters per second that will give you 370 meters per second therefore the speed of sound traveling through air at a temperature of 65 degrees celsius is 370 meters per second for our second problem, it says here, if a sound is traveling through air with a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius, how fast does it travel or how fast does the sound travel? So basically, if you're going to analyze this problem, you will have to place down the given values, but you only have one given value here that is 150 degrees Celsius. And that is basically your temperature. And then, like what we did earlier, we're looking for the speed of sound. So to solve for the speed of sound, we can use the same formula. Vs is equal to 
331 meters plus temperature times 0.6 meters per second. So that will be 331 meters per second plus 150 degrees Celsius times 0.6 meters per second. And you will have 331 meters per second plus 150 times 0.6 that will give you 90 meters per second. You have to cancel this degree Celsius out so that you can have meters per second since we're looking for the speed of sound. So 331 plus 90, it will give you 421 meters per second. And this is the speed of your sound in this problem. Okay, so we are now down to our third problem. It says here, if the temperature of air is negative 8 degrees Celsius, what is the velocity of the sound that, that travels through it? Okay, so you can see there, negative 8 degrees Celsius, that's your temperature, and that's already freezing. So you have to list down the given values, and you only have one. Again, that's negative 8 degrees Celsius. That's your temperature. And then again, we're looking for the speed or velocity of sound. So you can use the same basic formula. That's Vs is equal to 331 meters per second plus T times 0 0.6 meters per second. And that will give you 331 meters per second plus, that's negative 8 degrees Celsius times 0 0.6 meters per second and then you'll have 331 meters per second plus negative 8 times 0 0.6 that will give you negative 4.8 meters per second you cancel this out and you will have 331 meters per second so we have here plus and then the negative sign of our um, of the multiplication of negative 8 and 0 0.6 so that will be um, negative so plus times negative or plus times minus that will be minus and you will have 4.8 meters per second here so that will be 331 meters per second minus 4.8 meters per second it will give you 326.2 meters per second for our number 4 problem, it's a really different problem because instead of looking for the speed of sound, we are looking for the temperature of the air because the speed of sound is already given. It says here, if a sound is traveling through air at a speed of 700 meters per second, what is the temperature of the air? So you have 700 meters per second, that's basically your speed of sound or Vs. Okay. Now we're looking for the temperature. The question is, how are you going to solve for the temperature? You can simply derive the formula for temperature from our basic formula. So that will be temperature is equal to Vs minus 331 meters per second over 0 0.6 meters per second. So let's solve for this. That will be your Vs is 700 meters per second minus 331 meters per second over 0 0.6 meters per second and that will give you 700 minus 331 that is 369 meters per second over 0 0.6 meters per second and then 369 meters per second divided by 0 0.6 meters per second that will give you 615 and the unit for 615 should be degrees Celsius because you're looking for the temperature and therefore this is the temperature of the air for this problem. Okay, so we are down to our last problem. It says here, the sound is traveling through air with an unknown temperature. Solve for the temperature if the sound has a velocity of 340 meters per second. So this is your given value that is 340 meters per second basically that's your vs or the velocity of your sound and then you're looking for the temperature so we can use our derived formula temperature is equal to vs minus 331 meters per second 
over 0.6 meters per second. Your Vs is 340 meters per second minus 331 meters per second over 0.6 meters per second. And that will be 340 minus 331, that's 9 meters per second over 0.6 meters per second. And 9 divided by 0.6, it will give you 15 and the unit for that should be degree Celsius since we're looking for the temperature.